Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, wishing you a great uh, summer. We are continuing in this series of addressing cellular cardiac death, and today we're going to look at cellular cardiac death in the young and in athletes. As we've mentioned before, what's killing is this heart disease, and in more than 50% of deaths caused by heart disease are cellular cardiac death, although most of them occur in adults, there is still a significant number of occur in the young and in uh, athletes. And so cardiac death again is defined as a death that occurs within one hour and in some definition within 24 hours of the onset of uh, symptoms. And what's the underlying disease in sudden cardiac death in adults? As we've shown uh, before on a prior video, I'll put a link at the end of, the, of this video, it's coronary artery disease in 80% of the cases. But in the young and in athletes, the number one cause is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a type of dysfunction in the heart muscle that leads to a thickening and hypertrophy of the muscle that leads to a severe uh, dysfunction. This condition is a, a hereditary, is genetically determined, and is dominant, meaning that uh, uh, if the parents have the gene, 50% of the siblings will develop. Usually does not develop until the early young age and usually teenage years. And it, it is diagnosed with an ultrasound of heart called an echocardiogram. Second cause of cardiac arrest in the young is anomalies of the coronary arteries. For instance, having the left main coronary artery cross between the aorta and the pulmonary artery instead of in front of this uh, large uh, vessel. And there are other conditions called uh, channelopathies, ion channels, that are genetically determined like long QT syndrome, short QT uh, syndrome, Brugada syndrome, and other conditions. There are other types of cardiomyopathies uh, that happen in uh, young, uh, like one called arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, and also other Inflammations of the heart, like myocarditis, could lead to uh, cardiac arrest. Uh, let's not forget a condition called commotio cordis. It's uh, cardiac arrest that develops usually in children uh, that are hit uh, in the chest with a baseball or a puck or some other mechanical trauma. These uh, mechanical forces can lead to ventricular fibrillation if it reaches the heart in the so-called uh, vulnerable period of the ascending uh, limb of the T wave. And what are the warning signs of a cardiac arrest in the young? There are two very important ones, and one is fainting, uh, blackouts uh, during exercise cannot be ignored. If you fainted, you blacked out during exercise, you need to be uh, thoroughly investigated. And the other important aspect is there is hysteric cardiac death in the family. That means anybody in your family who died suddenly before age 50. These conditions cannot be and should not be ignored. And be aware when in public spaces, in sports events, learn where the automatic sign of defibrillator is. It could save a young life. And it's time for the bonus. Let's do a quiz together. Uh, the most common cause of cardiac arrest in the young is coronary artery disease? No, in the adults. In the young it's not. And the most common cause of cardiac arrest in the young is uh, genetic cardiomyopathy. It is uh, true. And if suspected, this condition is easily diagnosed. Yes, it is easily diagnosed ultrasound of the heart called uh, echocardiogram. And if you are diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, can you participate in competitive uh, sports? No, you cannot. It is contraindicated. And like one of the slides I showed before, Hank Gathers, uh, who died in the court, had had a simple episode before. He knew they had this condition and continued participating in uh, sports and unfortunately uh, paid with his uh, life. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated. Why well, let's just take control? If you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, write a comment, ask a question. I'm trying to make these videos interactive as possible.
possible. Uh, see you next video.